hello friends so in this video tutorial we will learn about prepaid expense and their general entry so first of all we have to understand what are prepaid expenses so prepaid expenses are expenses that is paid in advance like and its benefit is yet to be received so like we can take an example of your mobile phone bill so mobile phone have two services like one is prepaid and the another one is postpaid so in the prepaid service like what we do we paid the money in advance and after that we can use that service so that's basically a prepaid expense so paying the bill money in advance is a prepaid expense so all the expenses which we paid before taking the benefit of it is a prepaid expense example we have taken like our uh, mobile phone bill now how to make general entry of this prepaid expense so before making general entry of this prepaid expense we have to understand what are prepaid expense as per accounting laws prepaid ac uh, prepaid expenses are assets they are current assets and there is law to write an asset in accounting if we have to add an asset in our accounting we have to debit it and similarly if we have to deduct or minus assets from our accounts then we have to credit it and for in the case of liabilities if we want to increase our liabilities then we have to credit it and if we have to decrease our liability in the business then we have to debit it so here is a chart here like assets if we have to debit it we have to add it if we have to credit it we have to deduct it and liabilities if we have to deduct it we have to debit it and if we have to add it we have to credit it these are the rules which can be followed in prepaid expense and the prepaid expense are assets we have to note down that they are not liabilities now next thing we haven't taken an example here of rent suppose like rent paid for january is 10000 and actual rent rupees 5000 so as for this transaction so we have paying the rent of january which is 10000 but we have to pay the rent of 5000 so we are paying rent in advance so if we are paying rent in advance so that rent is prepaid and prepaid rent is assets so if we to, to note down asset in our accounting we are adding it so that's an asset so we if we are adding an asset in our account so we are debiting it rent is our expense it's a nominal account that's why we are adding it that that also and cash which is an asset or we can also call it a real account it's going out and we are deducting an asset from our business so that's why we are crediting so that's why we are making an entry of January now after making this entry we have to make the entry of February also so in February as we our rent is 5000 so what we will do in February in February we do not pay any cash because we have already paid it so the entry will be rent account debit 5000 to prepaid rent account debit 5000 so we are reducing our asset which we have created in the last month so now we are paying the rent 5000 and rent which we have paid in advance we are adjusting it now so now we are not paying any rent because we have paid in advance and in the in the month of february we will adjust it so this is the way we can make the entry of rent another example we have taken is the salary suppose like somebody having a salary of 10000 like here the question salary paid for the month of january is 15000 actual salary is 10000 so it means the salary for the month is 10000 but the person is taking a salary of 15000 instead of 10000 so he is taking 5000 salary in advance so if somebody is taking salary in advance that's a prepaid salary taking salary in advance 5000 so that's an asset asset because prepaid salary is an asset so we are increasing our asset here similarly salary is 10000 and cash is going from us is 15000 so we have make this entry so we have increased our asset 10000 salary which we have our expense 10000 and cash is going from us is 15000 now we have to adjust this salary in the month of february now in the month of february what we will do we have to pay the salary of 10000 but we have already paid the salary of 5000 in advance 
which is our prepaid salary now we will deduct it with prepaid salary 5000 cash will go 5000 so this way we decrease our assets which is prepaid salary now at the end of adjustment at the end of accounting years our accounting year starts from 1st of April and end on 31st of March so at the 31st of March we will see like in this case we have taken a stationery which we have purchased during the year is 12,000 but the stationery left rupees 5,000 like we are not able to use all the stationery which we have purchased during there 5,000 is still left so these 5,000 of stationery is becomes an asset so we this is unused stationery and this unused stationery will become an asset for us because we have not used it so that's also an asset and that comes under the category of our prepaid expense because we have made the expense of stationery during the year but the stationery left will be carry forward to the next year so that is an unused stationery account debit to stationery account so how we treat this prepaid expense in final account when we will make the final account which include your profit and loss account trading account and balance sheet so what we will do in prepaid is the expense of the next year so that's why when we will make our trading and profit and loss account which is the uh, which will which include the expenses and income of a particular year of this year only so we will deduct this prepaid expense because this prepaid expense is of next year so that's why we will deduct it in the debit side of the trading and profit and loss account because trading and profit and loss account in the debit side we will write down all the expenses so we will deduct it from the debit side of our trading profit and loss account and in the balance sheet is an asset it will be shown on the asset side of our balance sheet so this is the way we can use prepaid expense in our accounting thank you very much for watching this video if you like it you can subscribe it or in YouTube and in Facebook you can follow us for more videos